Mr. Son. This better be the real deal. <laughs> Guess I'll know after a swig. Now, next. What? There's more? Is there a problem? Because I can stop. I'll do it. Mr. Sun, please. Please teach me your technique. Come back once you have defeated White Tiger of Marshall Hall. Then perhaps I shall teach you. If you're referring to the person at Marshall Hall called White Tiger, then I have already defeated him. What was that? You've defeated him? Yes. So please, teach me your technique. Try catching ten of those chickens. Seriously? If you don't want to. N no, I'll do it. I just have to catch them, right? Let's see how your skills hold up. Still a ways to go, but it's clear you are your father's son. You knew my father, didn't you? Indeed. This is a photo of him in Bailu Village. Hmm. Is this Iwa with Zhao Sun Ming? So you know about my father and Zhao Sun Ming? Long ago. Fung and I trained together, helping each other to hone our skills. As a result of our training, Fung went on to gain great renown among our fellow martial artists. Many gifted students came to study under him, revering him as their master. Zhao and your father were among them. They got along famously. Under Fung's tutelage, they pushed each other to new limits. Then, several years later, Zhao Sun Ming died mysteriously. But what of Iwa? What became of your father? He fought a man called Lan Di, and he... Ah, I see. I had no idea. Mr. Sun. I'm done for the day. Go back and get some rest. Keep up with your training. You hear me? Got it. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house.
Good, mor Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. A banana. Guess I'll take it. Looks. Guess I'll take it. See you soon. First up, get into a horse stance. Uh, okay. These basic forms need to become second nature. Okay then, here goes nothing. You're in for a rough day today. <laughs> Not bad at all. Yes, there. That's it. Bend those knees. Yes, there. That's it. Yes, that's the idea. Bend those knees. Yes, there. That's it. Bend those knees. Yes, that's the idea. Bend those knees. Yes, good! Yes, there, that's it. Acceptable. Try catching ten of those chickens. What? Again? If you don't want to. Hold on to your chickens. I'll do it. Let Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. You have some skill. Mr. Sun. I'm done for the day. Go back and get some rest. Keep up with your training. You hear me? Got it. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Good morning. Did you get a... Yeah. I guess I'll take it. Looks good. Guess I'll take it. Rooster steps today. Sorry? You don't know Rooster steps? Well then, today's a big day for you. I guess so. Oh. You're in for a rough day today. Right? Ten chickens coming right up. Hmm. Here I go. 
Let's see how your You've got the strength. Perhaps it's time to teach you the technique. Please, I promise I'm ready. Close the gap and strike. <laughs> Too slow. Quickly close the gap and strike. again. Let's begin. Okay. Quickly close the gap and strike. Try again. Not now, thank you. Mm, very well. Don't go getting a big head just because you've done it a few times. I won't. Did that wine have anything to do with my training? You're young. You have to get crafty in order to buy it. You'll never be able to learn a signature move if you give up. And besides, I wanted some good wine. Fine. About the chickens? The body check requires you to swiftly close in on your opponent, and then use your body to knock them into the air. You're not quick enough, yet. But if you can catch these chickens, you might be able to pull it off. Ah, that makes more sense. But don't think pulling it off once or twice means that you've learned it. Okay. The days ahead will be full of long and arduous training.
How did it go? Mr. Sun taught me the technique. He did? And I was right. Chicken catching was part of the training. So, what kind of move is it? It's called the body check. Sounds powerful. Yeah, it's a Baji Chiren signature move. Really? Great. Now I can take on those thugs in the hermit's nest. And we can save Yen Xing. Exactly. And once we defeat the thugs... Hmm? Maybe they'll tell us about my father. Right. They've been targeting stonemasons, so they must know something. Yes. Now, let's get a move on and save Yan Xing. Okay. Get out here. Jeez, you two just never learn. Yan Xing. Careful, Shenhua. <clears throat> I'm gonna beat your friends to a bloody pulp now. Hope you enjoy the front row seat. Keep your distance, Shenhua. Okay. Put you up to this. I don't know anything. Oh. 
Who put you up to this? I don't know anything. Take care of him. Got it. Hey. You little pipsqueak! Don't think for one second you're better than me just because you beat me! All you did was get lucky! What did you say to me? Well, looky here! On another date with your cute little girlfriend! Don't you two make a cute couple! <laughs> Theo, don't listen to him. He's just trying to goad you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have a question for you. Huh? Why the hell should I answer a little punk like you? Give it up. You have nowhere to run. <laughs> now. What's your plan? Why did you target this village? Why? Oh, I don't know. I'm the one asking the questions. Oh, look at you acting like you're all grown up. You're not even a man yet, boy. What? Leo. I know, damn it. <laughs> you piece of. Leo. Who are you? Who, me? Can't you tell by looking? What? I'm just your friendly neighborhood thug. Stop kidding around. You little brat. What? If you want me to... Why, you... He's not... Damn it. <laughs> hey, do you know Mr. Yun? Yun? Who the hell's that? Mr. Yun, the stonemason. That is my father. Nope. Don't know, don't care. You guys dropped it, didn't you? He dropped it? Oh, that idiot. Wait, what? Oh, uh, nothing. Huh? You people went after all the stonemasons on this list, didn't you? Spit it out. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you sure? Look, I don't know what I don't know. Who sent you? Boss. You're not going to tell me, are you? What? You think I'm just going to cough it up? Enough. If you don't tell me, I'll beat it out of you. Is that what you want? <laughs> Are you threatening me? You don't have the stones, kid. I swear, I'll do it. Hey, Ryo. Shenhua. No, Ryo. Just don't. Yeah, but... We'd be no different. Uh, you're right, Shenhua. <laughs> so, what do we do then? Could you all wait outside? You too, Ryo. Are you sure? I'll just be a minute. Trust me. Okay. He's all yours. Hey. Huh? You think I'm afraid of a little girl like you? Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> Shenhua? Shenhua, I'm coming in. Uh, uh, Shenhua, what did you... He says he'll tell us everything. <laughs> That's good.
Well then? I said talk. Who are you? My name's Yin Lang. I'm just a common thug. I still can't believe I caved into this girl. You were easy. I've had a harder time breaking chopsticks. You win. Do you turned around quick. What's up with this girl anyway? She's absolutely brutal. Speaking of, what exactly did you do to this guy, Shenhua? Oh, you want to know? I can give a demonstration. No, no more! Please! Pretty please, even! Shenhua. Why did you come to Bai Lu? You want to go for round two? No, no, ma'am! Then talk. At first, we were ordered to search for a mirror made out of some kind of special stone. But we couldn't find the damn thing no matter where we looked. Is that why you targeted the stonemasons? I've been... I don't hear an answer. Ring the bell, y'all. Okay, okay, I'll talk! Go on. When we reported back about the mirror, our next order was to kidnap its stonemason. I knew it. You kidnapped Mr. Yuan? Yuan. Yuan. Yeah, sounds familiar. He, he was the only one that could carve that whatchamacallit rock. Phantom Riverstone. Where did you take my father? Where is he now? We handed him off to the other guys. Where did they take him? I don't know. I swear. The thing is, our gang has several hideouts in a town along the Lijiang River. But I don't know where they all are. Oh, no. This can't be happening. You better not have laid a finger on him. No, no. He's fine. I swear. They said to hand him over in one piece. Father. Who ordered you? Was it that creepy-looking guy with the hunchback? No, not him. Our orders came from higher up. So who are the higher ups? I don't know. What? No, really! You think I'm going to fall for that? Ding, ding. So you do want some more? No! I'm telling you the truth! I swear on my life! When we talked to them, we weren't even allowed to see their faces! What? And if we didn't comply, they would have killed us on the spot. That skinhead guy's just a watchdog. Is he Chi Yu Men? Hard to say. It's not like we could just ask him. We just kept our mouths shut and followed orders. What did you tell him? Not much. Wait, the Verdant Bridge? Why would you... What's so special about the Verdant Bridge? Beats me! Never cared in the first place! In fact, why do I care now? There's no turning back for me anyway! <laughs> Come to think of it, nothing matters anymore! <laughs> you piece of... Take it easy! If you want to know that bad, go talk to the old hag! Old hag? You mean Elder Ye? Uh, sounds about right. If you care about her, then you better get going! Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You know that Chai guy? He should be at that old lady's place right about now. If I were you, I'd leave now. I'm telling you, Chai is one sick puppy. Damn it! Leo, we got all we need to know. We have to hurry to Elder Yes. Yeah. Mr. Wong, Mr. Liu, we're done with him. You can let him go now. What? You're not seriously thinking about letting him go, are you? The longer he stays in the village, the more trouble he will cause. And there's no guarantee that his friends won't come for him. Oh yeah, that's true. Anyway, let's hurry. <laughs>